Co's COVID series. We are going to dig into some things that we are tracking that are super exciting with Kaylin launching with the Dream Box, which really has us inspired. Yeah, this product is so cool. So I've come across this a few times, I think thanks to Facebook and Instagram ads. And what I thought was really fun about this product is even if you're not into crafting, this is just such a cool concept. So it actually looks like a closet that when you open it up, it expands into this multi-dimensional space. And one of the pain points that they're solving for is that a lot of individuals who craft and have a lot of things to store, usually it's all over their houses and they have to go through all these different clear bins to find their acrylic paints, their pens, their construction paper. And so this is a way where you have this pop-up workstation so you don't constantly have to put things away where you can't see them visually. And Erin, maybe you could talk to that trend about even kids and adults wanting to not have to put things away and they actually forget about them that way. Yeah, that's exactly right. So one of the things when you're doing schoolwork, which many people are experiencing with homeschooling or home projects, is that you might be in progress or in process while you're working with something. And one thing the Dream Box solves for is that you can leave things out. You can leave them in in your work scenario where you were in that moment and come back to it a later time without having all of the fuss and all of the mess that you would typically have with a large project because it offers this trifold storage unit that has drawers, adjustable shelving, it has the desk. It's a very customizable space and so it becomes a very great way to work according to your work style. And at a time when many people are working at home, kids are working at home, there's a major need for understanding how to maximize space and use it, utilize it in a way that is most effective for a variety of different types of people. And that's what's really cool about the stream box. Yeah, this would be really fun as even office in a box idea. So if you're in a workspace at home where you maybe share it with other people or it's in your, right now I'm actually working from my living room. So it's a little untraditional. So imagine being able to fold everything up, but you're not actually putting it away. I feel like that's such a different mental space. So when you start your work, you're actually just opening it back up to right where you left off. So I think this could be a really cool trend to track and even continue product development on. Awesome. So now let's dig into the Lou, which offers subscription service bathroom delivery products. Yeah. So I thought this was a really interesting concept because it's in the B2B space. So a lot of times our clients ask us, you know, I'm a B2B business. I'm not a consumer facing company. How do you look at trends differently? So this is an example of an insight that this company had to develop something from our B2B model. So they had this insight that a lot of times in the workforce, people don't have access to the products that maybe they would like. Maybe you go to work and you don't have your sanitary products. You forgot something at home. Uh, maybe in certain environments, you maybe can't even afford some of these products. And so they wanted to create a subscription where employers could, similar to office snacks or office beverage products, they wanted employers to be able to subscribe to get personal care products, sanitary products, menstrual products in the bathroom so that employees have access to these products. And they talk about the cost is actually around $5 a month per employee. So it's very affordable service and benefit that employers could offer. Yeah, and this really did come from what Kaylin was talking about, that disconnect between office perks and bathroom care. So there's all kinds of office perks out there, but the bathroom care really hasn't been part of it. And companies are investing in culture more than ever now. And so understanding where perks lie in wellness programs, different types of meals. We've even seen gaming rooms over the last decade. And so now investing in perks that help people with their more personal needs, this will help, of course, attract top talent, increase retention, be more productive in the work environment, more comfortable. And so this delivery service really speaks to that. Yeah, we were even talking about post-COVID, could there be hygiene or sanitary ones that are passed out to each desk? Maybe you get hand sanitizer, Maybe you get a touchless device that you could use for the elevator, like we talked about in a past video. But just this idea of how do you incentivize and also have a reward aspect to sanitary products, but also show your employees that you really do care and you really do want them to feel their personal best, whether it's actually a health and wellness need or maybe it's something more around beauty and wellness. Yeah, absolutely. And what we've been tracking in cleanliness and hygiene, there'll absolutely be demand for this space when people head back to work. No doubt about it, because it's the top of everyone's mind right now. All right. So what about date night boxes? So this one to me is so exciting. It's something that I definitely want to try out being here in Austin. So in terms of date night boxes, we're seeing companies look at ways that they can increase revenue right now, especially for a lot of restaurants or bars that are struggling but it's also just created this wave of innovation where I think it's actually pretty exciting for just a normal product idea. 
even given a pre-COVID world. So this is a date night box that a bar and a restaurant teamed up together to create so that you could have this date night in. It includes a meal, items to make a drink, which you see here in this picture, incense and conversation thought starters. So the idea is that you get this box, it's sort of a curated way to have that special evening in and do something that is different or more unique than just ordering takeout. And this has also been an adaptation, what Caitlin's talking about, that restaurants are doing it from more traditional date night boxes where there's a theme every night, there's different activities for people to focus on and strengthen their relationship. And what's interesting about this particular one on the scene right now is that this was actually designed by marriage and family therapists. And so at a time when people are going through a lot and figuring out ways to manage themselves, their own emotions, and this big life change, also thinking about how their relationship with others is taking form and how to make those relationships as strong as possible. So an interesting hybrid between different ways to do date night now, whether it's a subscription box, which existed before COVID, but is becoming increasingly popular, or embracing how restaurants are shifting their business models to be able to provide these unique experiences to people. Yeah, and what's really cool to think about is if you think about the options that you have when you're thinking about going out on a date night, there's probably, depending on the city you're in, there could be a couple, like dozens to hundreds to thousands of options if you live in a city like New York or LA. And what's interesting to think is if we reverse engineer that, how do we create dozens, hundreds, or thousands of options for things that people can do inside of their homes? So it's a really interesting flip on perspective and thinking about how we can make the most of this time, but also could this be a behavior and a pattern and innovation that actually lasts post-COVID? Absolutely. Well, there you have it, everyone. Thank you again for joining us. If you are unfamiliar with EBCO, we are an Austin-based trend and innovation firm. We work across all categories to inspire unexpected new products, technologies, business models, you name it. We look at where there is movement and momentum in their industry to provide value and direction and strategic insight on what to do next. And if you have any interest, we'd love to connect with you. And thank you so much. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye.